Okay, winter's coming, and we all know how effective the cabin heater for the Defender actually is. Close to useless. We have here a cost-effective solution for keeping yourself warm, or just a little bit warmer, which is a Waco heated seat, or in German, Einbau Sitzheizung. This is a product from a reputable company and a new addition to the paddock stock. Depending on how you're going to have your switch and your wiring, this kit will have all you need for two seats. Just note that this is not just for defenders, it will fit other vehicles as well. So with the wiring you get your relays, you get your fuse box and two different coloured looms and the seat pads for the back and the bases. The wiring loom is actually of very good quality and so are the connectors. The switch here you have a three position switch illuminated by a little LED. Kit allows you a certain amount of leeway to fit the switches where you need to and luckily the switch design matches what we already have here. You have protected circuits with two fuses, a 10 amp and a 7.5. This 10 amp is for the power supply which we are actually going to wire in with an extra relay that's not with the kit and this is for the ignition feed and you have an earth as well. Because this will work only with ignition on, you have these two wires. You then have a 40 amp relay which will allow the circuit to be powered only with the ignition switch on. You have a manual with it which will only help you a certain amount of the way. It won't tell you where to wire things in, it will only give you a brief explanation. Not that many of us actually need much help, but the seats will have to be stripped so you can get pads into the seats. As we see here, Ian's actually taken the cover off. On the Defender, it's very easy to remove and replace these covers. The elements are marked for their positions, and the shorter of the two will actually fit on the backrest, and the longer with the slot in it fits on the seat base itself. This is a fairly universal kit, so the slot has to do with the way the seat cover is fitted to the sponge on other vehicles. Being a Defender owner, you'll be armed with some tools to be able to fit the kit, including electrical tools and, depending on where the position is, some tools for fitting into your cubby box like we're doing. There's a template in the manual to tell you what drill size it is, and it's 20mm drill size hole to fit the switch to where you need to. The wiring loom does give you a little bit of leeway, and we've decided to put it into the battery box you don't need a professional knowledge of electrics to fit this. If you want to modify, there's no problem. You just need to plan where your wiring loom is going to go so you don't have problems with it. The circuit itself is designed so it will not work with the ignition switched off. And you have three positions on the switch. You have warm, center position is off, and the top one in this case is warm or hot. We've found that consumption of voltage is actually not that much on this heating unit. So while we have the last few days of warmth and we're uh, getting things ready for the winter, especially with Ian, he's got a trailer full of wood here that he's about to take home for his wood burner. At least he knows he's going to be a little bit more comfortable in his Defender this winter.